They were not scared of Shuj Knight. They were terrified. Shuj Knight come in and those who knew him started running in different directions. Here is why everyone was terrified of Shuj Knight. Before we start the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Let's get into it. Arian Suj Knight rose to prominence in the early 1990s as the CEO of Death Row Records, a label that shaped the West Coast hip-hop scene. However, behind the success and glamour, there was a dark side that made Suj Knight one of the most feared men in the industry. Born on April 19, 1965 in Compton, California, Suj Knight had a tough upbringing and was no stranger to trouble. He played football in college and even had a brief stint with the Los Angeles Rams before turning his attention to the music industry. In 1991, Shuja Knight co-founded Death Row Records alongside rapper Dr. Dre. The label quickly gained a reputation for its gangsta rap music and became home to iconic artists such as Tupac Shakur and Snoop Dogg. Under Suga's leadership, Death Row Records soared to unimaginable heights, dominating the charts and becoming a force to be reckoned with. One of the most infamous incidents involving Shug Knight occurred in 1996. After attending the Mike Tyson vs. Bruce Selden boxing match in Las Vegas, Shug and Tupac Shakur were involved in a drive-by shooting that left Tupac dead. The incident remains shrouded in mystery, but it fueled rumors of Suga's involvement and led to further speculation about his connections to the criminal underworld. Shuj Knight's reign at Death Row Records started to crumble in the late 1990s. He faced legal troubles, including assault charges and violations of probation. In 1997, Suga was sentenced to prison for a parole violation, marking the beginning of a downward spiral for both him and the label. Despite his legal issues, Suga Knight continued to make headlines, often for the wrong reasons. In 2002, he was involved in a fight at the MTV Video Music Awards that resulted in another prison sentence. The incident further tarnished his public image, cementing his status as a feared and controversial figure. Suga Knight's influence over the hip-hop industry began to wane as Death Row Records struggled financially. The label faced bankruptcy and numerous legal battles, eventually leading to its downfall. Suga Knight's reign had come to an end, but his dark legacy would continue to linger. In recent years, Suga Knight's story has taken another twist. In 2015, he was charged with murder.